Hello once again YouTube, Duke Nukem 2417 here with part 5 of DN 2417 plays Doom SNES. I made significant progress in recovering from the hay fever that has gripped me for the past few days and weeks. And as a result, I figured I might as well tackle the non-shareware portion of Doom SNES. And fortunately, I have the Doom Official Strategy Guide from Prima on the desk in front of me, so there may be a few awkward pauses in the recording of this to check my location and such on my maps, but hopefully not too many. And already things are off to a great start. I have 99% health, 52 pistol ammo, passed on that inverted cross without losing any health, and... Enough. Okay, and for those of you wondering what the hell just happened, you can't go backwards into a teleporter in this version of Doom. <laughs> because apparently walking backwards into a teleporter on the SNES version of Doom causes all sorts of craziness to happen. As you saw and heard, probably. And for those of you who are listening with headphones, I apologize if the sound went stupid. I personally didn't hear anything because I didn't hear anything stupid. Anyway. Okay, then we run through the inverted cross, snipe these idiots with the pistol, and then there's always that one in the back who survives because he's a prick. But yeah. Collect ammo from the fallen zombie men. Here, no. Get ready to book it through that inverted cross, and then go forwards facing through the teleporter to avoid sending this game into glitched hell. Laugh as the fireball passes ineffectually. Run over the corpses of the zombie men here to grab their ammunition, if they have any. The imp does not, of course, for obvious reasons. Grab the shoddy. Gotta get that shotty. Oh, oh. Off sound. Boom. 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 Fireballs galore there. Five. Oh, there goes up. Oh, crap. Boom. What else? Boom. I see. And I wasted all my shotgun. Whoa. One more shell. That's good. Dodging fireballs up. Really? There was one of them standing in the lava. Now he's out of the lava, and now he's dead. Lucky me. Grab the shotgun shells. Run over here to grab that health. Lose a little tiny bit of it. Press this panel. And press that panel there to open these walls. This red key card is going to come in very handy later on. And then we jump quickly across the lava to grab the armor and shotgun ammo and run quickly across it again. Now switch to the shotgun and snipe the demons up above. Amazingly, hit scan weapons in this game work both ways. They technically don't have line of sight to me. I can still hit them. And we hit this red, not red skull, but we hit the skull switch here. Move on forward. And get blasted in the face by an imp because he sucks. Now, I have the red key card, but that red door is in lava. And there's also this demon over here who's just chilling. <coughs> Excuse me. Open the red door and. Boom. Computer area map. Excellent. Blue armor. Quickly. Okay. Much better than the last few times I've done this. Now then. Go through here. Snipe the demon. Don't need to pick up that health. Hit that button.
kill the Keiko Demon till it dies. Go do that. Run back over here. Get the teleport. This wall goes down. Check the computer area map. And there's the exit room. Kill the imp who's just marching rapidly in place. But the computer area map shows all. As we can see, there are plenty. of hidden areas. So. Okay. Grab our health. Activate this switch right here. Go into this long hallway. Grab all those health bonuses that you didn't see because I had the map up. And then we go through here. Run through the lava. Zoom it. No, zoom it out. I said zoom it out. Thank you. Okay. So we run all the way back to the start of the level going forwards through the teleporter this time because there is no way I'm going to intentionally trigger that glitcher and nightmare from earlier. And immediately in this new area, I'm accosted on all sides by enemy fire. Keiko Demon. A regular bipedal demon, who is now dead. But the prize is very much worth the risk. Because over here in the corner is a plasma gun. And it- Oh, shoot! Okay, you know what? Screw it. Just run. Just run. And I'm almost dead. Because the one idiot with the shotgun who would not quit firing at me. And I have a feeling that even if I book it through the lava, the Doom Slayer is going to die. So. Let's test that theory, shall we? Oh, he didn't croak. That's amazing. My armor is down to 83. I picked up a shotgun. Fat lot of good that does me. Because the guy is... Wait, is there a health pack right here? Yes, health. Much needed health. 22 health. Excellent. Not as good as it could be, but still health is health. Okay, and... On to the next level of episode 2. And this one's probably going to be a short one because I have a feeling, and I can't shoot through the window. That's great. Okay. Boom. Demon, dead. I guess the imps are dead. This wall, oh wait, it's this wall that opens, but I don't remember how to do that, so. For now, I'll just open this door, put my head in, shoot. Don't need that yet. Now, the interesting thing about the Berserk Pack is, not only can you rip and, t well that's in Brutal Doom, that you can do the whole ripping and tearing thing, but it does, in fact, give you full health. I don't intend to get up close and personal with these idiots. And I just grabbed the frickin' radiation suit, I think. What is that? There's a clip. I can't even tell. Uh, I think I just grabbed the radiation suit and I didn't intend to. Which sucks. I was gonna save that. And this dude just wanders past me, and then this dude is also just meandering around. Oh no, I didn't grab the radiation suit. Okay, good, good, great, great, wonderful. I didn't waste it. Okay, so I'm gonna destroy all these bungholes. Okay. The Berserk Pack is lasting for an incredibly long time. And, and no, that was a Keiko Demon. I thought it was an imp that flung that fireball, but no, it was a Keiko Demon. So, back to the plasma. Not dead? Dead now. Okay, good, great, wonderful, lovely. 
No shotgun ammo still. Why? Okay. And here's some shotgun ammo. Great, excellent. 40. And I think this is a good time to just call this video done because I spent a lot of time on that first part of the first level well on that first level period but uh, not helped by that whole going backwards into the teleporter thing which caused everything to screw up so I, I'm only gonna do a little bit more of this level to avoid you know taking too long on one thing and boring everyone who watches this okay, nope Okay, now you're gone. And there's another idiot behind- Oh, great! Keiko demons all over the place. Wonderful. Brilliant. I just left this area, now I have to run back here. In order to avoid getting killed by a mob of Keiko demons and one imp. Oh, wait. Now he's on the other side of the door. Clever little prick, aren't you? What? 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 Okay, never mind. You're not... Maybe you are clever, but you're also annoying. So knock it off. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> the least I can do before I end this is kill all these stupid Keiko de... God dang it. All these stupid Keiko demons. That's one down. Two. Were there more? No. And if this were a source port, I could jump up into that, but I can't. So, meh. On the plus side, there's a stim pack. And a sphere of partial invisibility, which has a different graphical effect here than it does. And speaking of the Keiko Demons, I remember from uh, about two or three videos ago that I said there were no flying enemies in Doom. Obviously, at the time, I was still suffering the effects of hay fever and as such was temporarily stupefied and I forgot that Keiko Demons existed in this game. So please, do not hold that against me. I was sick at the time, I was focusing on trying to do the video and I forgot about the Keiko Demons because they aren't in the shareware episode. So had I worded my statement a little bit differently and said there are no Keiko de there are no flying enemies in this episode, I would have been perfectly tr bleh, perfectly correct. Instead, I acted as if there were no flying enemies in the entire game. Obviously, that was incorrect. And this is just weird. But yeah, there are flying enemies in Doom, Keiko Demons, and Lost Souls, and if we're counting Doom 2, Pain Elementals, those things that spit out Lost Souls and are generally a pain in the butt. But nothing from Doom 2 is in this game, or this version of the game, so yeah. Uh, is there any way to get in here? No, it's too high up. Like I said, if this was a source port, I could jump in, but it's not, so I can't, so meh. Armor bonus. And oh, oh, oh. Crud, that is nukage. That is nukage. Get out of it. Although now I have a perfect use for that rad suit that I was leaving behind earlier. And I think I'm going to leave that... Oh, this is where I'm going to leave the video. Standing before the rad suit. Not yet picking it up, but contemplating it. Because I will need it for that area that I was just at. So, with that in mind, thank you all so very much for watching. And as always, stay tuned for more.